One problem, um, Donald Trump and the Secret Service are going to be there, so here's my plan, chat. Um, you know, you can clip this and, uh, you know, foreshadow it in the future. What's going to happen is I'm going to walk up, um, you know, I'm going to talk my shit to Trump. How do you feel about, like, the Aiden Rosses, the uh, Sneeko, Zerka, all of these people that kind of walk in the realm of where you want? Like, Neon is one now. Like, how do you, how do you feel about these gentlemen? I think they're all different people. I don't pay attention to any of them. Um, I know something about, I think, I mean, I don't want to insult anybody. I don't want to talk about anybody negatively. Zerk is a clown. <laughs> I mean, dude, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not laughing because it's Zerka thing. It just caught me so off guard. Listen, I'm not going to talk shit about anybody. I'm going to be very respectful. But fuck that guy. <laughs> okay, Zerka. I mean, I'm just trying to be honest. I, I don't, I, I understand your question, but I don't see myself as similar to any of them. I think that. Oh, thing- no, I never said you're similar. I think that they're trying to, uh, Recreate your formula. Oh, it's yeah. It's like the Krabby Patty formula. You know how Plankton's sitting yeah. around being like, how do they do it? And then they're trying to do it, but it's not really working. Yeah, but out they for lack them. substance. They have no lessons to teach. They have no life experience. They are clowns. And when you're a clown, you embarrass yourself for other people's entertainment. I mean, I don't want to. Aiden, I know well. Sneeko, I know well. Are you close with Aiden? Yeah, I speak to him quite often. Okay, I, but that, but Neom, Neom, or whatever his name is, he's a clown and Zerk's a clown. I don't want to insult him too much, but they're, they're just children being, stu- being stupid. And, and all right, guys, so we got to talk about UFC 296, which I did watch last night in its entirety. That's kind of the reason why this video is coming out late is because I was staying up late watching uh, the Leon Edwards, uh, Kobe Covington fight that unfortunately Kobe Covington, um, I don't think performed his best. OK, um, I don't think that he was able to get Leon to the ground enough uh, to take advantage of his strengths. Leon did a great job standing up fighting the whole night. And I think that's probably why Kobe Covington lost for the most part is that he couldn't get uh, Leon Edwards to the ground enough, even though he did quite a few times. But I don't think he got him to the ground enough uh, to really uh, sway the match in his favor. So unfortunately for him, uh, he lost. Okay, but again, the real winner of the night was obviously President Trump, because anytime he shows up to these events, which he does quite often, Uh, The crowd goes wild, and that was no different at UFC 296 because Trump once again got a standing ovation uh, as he walked into the arena, as always. Yeah, so again, Trump shows up to these events quite a bit, okay? I think that it is an obvious move from Trump because there's a lot of overlap between the conservative space and fighting and UFC, and that is something I've taken notice of quite a bit. Um, But however, there are some liberals that are haters of Trump, that are Trump deranged, that don't like the fact that uh, Trump keeps showing up to these UFC events with Dana White. Uh, Trump just arrived at the UFC 296. Because he loves Colby Covington. And Leon Edwards, I hope, is going to smash his face in. Because I can't stand Colby Covington. And I can't stand Donald Trump. And the one thing I hate about the UFC is that he ruins it every time he shows up. I mean, come on, Dana White. You got to do better. Really? Really? Yeah, so you've seen that, you heard that. Now, there are some people who tried to actually watch uh, the UFC event in person, tried to show up. Um, However, um, they were not allowed because they apparently were making threats towards the president before showing up and they decided to post it online, right? And they effed around and found out when Dana White caught wind of this person uh, by the name of Neon, a famous streamer who I don't know why he's famous at all, Okay, I have no idea why any of these guys are famous, uh, but I just know that they're famous, right? But again, this guy, Neon, thought it would be a good idea to essentially threaten the president with talking ish to his face at UFC uh, on the way to the event, okay? He says that, hey, I'm going to walk in, I'm going to talk my smack to Trump to his face at this UFC event. And uh, unfortunately for him, Dana White caught wind of this and he ended up getting banned from being able to go into the event. Take a look. 
One problem, um, Donald Trump and the Secret Service are going to be there, so here's my plan, chat. Um, you know, you can clip this and, uh, you know, foreshadow it in the future. What's going to happen is I'm going to walk up, um, you know, I'm going to talk my shit to Trump, and then um, it's going to be a very good experience, and I'm going to talk my shit. I don't care if the Secret Service is there, I don't give a fuck, I'm going to talk shit, so it's all good. It's going to be a very good uh, time, it's going to be uh, very interesting, and yeah, don't say anything. Um, I don't think the Secret Service is about shit, so we should be fine. We should be good. I'm trying to make you not look dumb. A few moments later. Neon's not allowed in. What? They used, they dropped your name specifically. Huh? They just dropped your name specifically, bro. They said Neon is not allowed in. In the stadium? Yes. What? Perfect. Thank you. What the hell? I'm not allowed Perfect. in the stadium. You specifically, so now I need to talk to them about refunding the damn money. Hold on, no, 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 there's no fucking no, way. No, no, you stay your ass in the car. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they said stay your ass in the car, okay? Talking to him like he's a child, right? Nah, you gonna stay here in the car, okay? So again, apparently Dana White uh, caught wind of Neon essentially threatening the president of the United States. And he effed around and found out. He effed around and found out what happens when you talk ish about the president online for clout and then think that you're going to go to the event and talk that ish to the president's face. Nah, 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 nah. So uh, Dana White actually was asked about this um, and, and why Neon was not allowed to uh, come to the event. And I want to play his response because um, Dana White absolutely destroys Neon. Uh, but before we get into it, we have to have a word from the sponsor of this video, Virtual Shield. How often do you see ads pop up on websites and social media about things that you have talked about? Turns out it's as real and it's as creepy as it sounds. Phone manufacturers have confirmed that your phone listens to you and uses that information and data to build customer marketing profiles to show you relevant ads our phones basically come with adware pre-installed this is why tens of thousands are protecting their privacy with virtual shield virtual shield is an all-in-one security suite with their flagship military grade vpn identity theft protection and much more it offers unlimited bandwidth and device support that allows you to have a seamless and secure browsing experience across all your devices including computers, phones, tablets, you name it. Plus, it has industry-leading kill switch technology that ensures your data stays encrypted even when the VPN connection drops. Most importantly, Virtual Shield has a no-log policy to help guarantee your online activities stay confidential. Now the best time ever to get Virtual Shield because every new sign-up gets a 60-day risk-free Trial, unlimited data across an unlimited number of devices, access to Virtual Shield's 24-7 customer support, and much more. Sign up today for free before this offer ends by going to virtualshield.com slash BCP. Once again, that's virtualshield.com slash BCP, or click the link in the description below. You're right. There's a popular streamer online called Neon. And he yeah. said he was a banned from the arena tonight, specifically by... He by said he was banned from the arena? No, what happened is he, he said some stupid shit on Instagram and, uh, you know, he, he bought tickets so he wasn't anywhere close. When you start saying stupid shit like that, yeah, you're probably going to get busted up and thrown out of here, you know, making threats and talking dumb shit, looking for clout. I believe he said he was going to... I don't care what he said. I think he said he was going to confront Donald Trump. Is what I don't care said. what he said. Did he? Well, he wasn't able to. He's just fucking tall, too. You know that? <laughs> fucking punk. Thank you. Yeah. Nice Dana. Talk. Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that. Another classic case of F around and find out. And Neon f around and found out. I'm not sure why in the world would you think that as a popular streamer, which again, I have no clue why this guy has clout. I have no idea why he's famous. I think the only thing I know about him is that he has some OnlyFans girlfriend that is probably going to end up leaving him uh, after she uh, sucks him dry of his money. Okay, that's the only thing <laughs> that she's probably sucking dry uh, from Neon, which is money. Okay, unfortunately for him. She doesn't, doesn't want to sleep with you, bruv. Of why she sleep with you. Sam, don't. Oh, do your thing in it. Bro, you know? all we do is spend time together. So Bro, maybe she has. <laughs> she hasn't. Your fucking business, business. 
business, but we've done. Regardless. You don't. You don't fancy so him. You don't. Up. You don't fancy you him. You don't about. fancy him. You don't I fancy do, him. I do, actually. You have no idea you what don't, goes on. Really? You, you he, he's, told, he's told me that you've not slept together. He's told me that you've not done anything together. You if you fancied him, then you would, in four or five weeks, have be, seen each other every single day. No, you, you wouldn't you have even... forget that I'm, like, celibate? You like, you're stupid. Celibate, but you do OnlyFans. All right. I don't have sex on OnlyFans. Yeah. Like, I'm genuinely a whore. All right, girl. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Enough said. Enough said. I literally sleep next to him at night. But, um... Yeah, I don't understand why you think that you can just talk junk about the President of the United States, essentially threaten the President of the United States, uh, saying that, hey, I'm going to go up to him and, you know, I'm going to talk junk, I'm going to, you know, talk my ish or whatever, and you thought that the Secret Service uh, or that the UFC wouldn't catch on to what you're saying online. Again, these people post stuff like this online, and then they get shocked when there are consequences to them posting things like this online. It's just stupid, right? So you did it for clout. And then guess what? Now you can't even get into the arena. You can't even tell your fans that you are allowed in because you actually got banned from the arena, right? Which, I mean, hey, I don't blame Dana White or whoever made the decision to do that. I don't blame them. Clearly, Dana White knew about it. Clearly, he was aware because when you have a special guest, somebody like the president of the United States, yeah, you're going to go out of your way to make sure that you protect the president and that you're not going to allow idiots and fools to try to walk up and confront the president of the United States. I mean, that's just silly, and it's ridiculous for Neon to do something like that. Which, you know, hey, let's just say, okay, hypothetically, that Neon was allowed to go up to the president of the United States and start talking junk. Neon is so small, right? Again, they talk to him like a child. He's so small that I believe that Trump, even at Trump's age, could probably whoop up pretty pretty badly on Neon, right? I think if it was a, a fight between President Trump and Neon, I'm taking Trump all the way, right? I think that Trump could definitely uh, take over somebody like Neon, even at his age. But, you know, again, Dana White, um, you know, I think that he had a perfect response, okay? I think that some of these guys, you know, that you see getting clout on the internet, getting famous for having no talent at all, they need to be humble and put in their place, right? I mean, again, this guy really thought that he would be able to approach the president of the United States and to talk junk. Again, with a paid ticket, which, by the way, apparently, you know, you can't just pay for a ticket to be uh, ringside next to the president or close enough to the president. That's something that um, you have to have special, I guess, permission for, right? And unfortunately for him, uh, he's not at that level yet, right? He's not at the level yet where he can really get that close to the president. So it really wasn't a real threat, but regardless... Um, I think Dana White did the right thing. Um, I think that he did a good job of setting an example out of people like Neon, uh, people that, again, that I think have internet clout and fame for no reason, just for being agents of chaos. And uh, I just think that it's hilarious that he, this guy ended up getting banned and then he wanted to act shocked. Oh, I'm shocked. No way. There's no way <laughs> that they're not going to allow me in a UFC fight after basically going online, live on Instagram, uh, talking junk about the president and threatening the president of the United States. Again, it's amazing, right? How people uh, get so shocked that there's consequences to their actions. You do something stupid and then you, you want to act surprised and cry victim uh, when uh, you face consequences for your actions. So uh, with that being said, uh, good move by Dana White. Uh, good night for the UFC. Bad night for the Trump deranged liberals who can't stand to see uh, Trump and Dana White be so close to Trump coming to the UFC events. Uh, also, very bad night for Neon, who thought he was going to get clout off of talking junk to the president. Uh, he thought he was going to get a whole bunch of views and a whole bunch of crazy stuff. But unfortunately, he effed around and found out uh, ended up getting banned. So, hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.